Hello everyone, welcome back to your third Java tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys about the math assignment operators in Java. So I'll be teaching you the plus, the minus, multiplication, division, modulus, plus plus, minus minus, plus equals, minus equals, and all that stuff. So yeah, just sit back, watch, and trust me, it'll make a lot more sense at the end. You may want to know algebra for this just because it involves variables so if you don't know how to use variables in math like x then uh... you may not understand this so other than that if you have like a ninth grade education this should work out fine alright now um... first we'll just make a number called int number and we'll have that equal to ten and we'll say system dot out dot print line and we'll just print out the number now what we can do here is actually change the value of number without even specifying how much we want to change it by we can just say number plus plus oops plus plus and this automatically will add one to number so go and get rid of that real fast actually I'll just make sure to I'll just show you guys that um, if we were run where if we were to run this we would get 10 so there we go, we get 10. And now if we were to say number plus plus, we will get 11. Just like that. We can also say plus plus number, which says, which is basically one plus number. Just like that. And we still get 11. Now if we were to get rid of this and actually assign the plus plus number down here in the print, which we can also do, this would give us 11. I'll show you guys that. In case you guys don't believe what the... Uh, something weird happened. Oh, my bad, wrong example. I was going to show you that later. Forget what you just saw. Okay, plus plus number, if we were to run that, will give us 11. And as you guys saw when I made that mistake, um, even though number plus plus, as we showed before, will add one to number, if we were to put the plus plus at the end, it will add the one to number, but it'll only do it after we print it out. So if we were to go and make another um, print where we don't do anything to it at all, we just print number, we'll prove to you guys that it actually is changed. So now we had 10 printed out first and then 11 because it was 10, it printed out 10 and then it added 1 to it and then it printed it out again without adding anything to it again. The same thing can be done with minus minus which will just take away 1 and if you guys want to specify like more than just adding 1 you can say plus 2 and that would give us 12 and yeah that does not however reassign the value of number altogether. As you see here, number plus 2 will make it 12 up here, but number is still 10. Now to get a little bit of the more advanced ones. We can do number is, e is plus equal 2. Now this will give us 12. Um, oops, semicolon. This will give us 12. Basically what it does is it takes the value of number, which is 10, and adds 2 to it and makes it 12 and then assigns 12 to number. So it says, okay, the number is 10, so we'll take 10 and add 2, we get 12, and then we're going to assign that to number again, so instead of number being 10, it's 12. And that's basically what it just did. We can also do this with minus equals, which looks like that. 8 and we can also do that with some other ones now what I want to show you guys now is number is equal to um, 10 times uh, times 2 and this should give us 20 and we get 20 so that's 
basically how you multiply. You just use this little star oper operation right there. To, to divide, we use the slash, and this gives us 5. And then we have one more operation, which is a bit different compared to the other ones. You may never have even heard of this. And it's called the modulus, which is just the percent sign. Now what this does is it divides 10 by 2, but returns the leftover number. So for example, if 2 goes into 10 five times, there's nothing left over from it. There's no like, if 2 to, was go, to go into 10 without any decimals, then it would return 0, because there's 0 left over. Now, here, maybe it's just easier if I show you. We run this and we get 0 because there's nothing left over. It's evenly divisible. But if we change 10 to 11, how many times does 2 go into 11? Well, it goes in there evenly 5 times, but it gives a remainder of 1, just like that. We could also change this to 3, and we would get 2 remaining. remaining. So basically, it's like the remainder operator, but it's called the modulus, and uh, here I'll spell that out for you guys, Modu modulus, I think that's how it's spelled, maybe not, but uh, pretty sure, if you search that, um, yeah, I think that's right, if you search it in Google, you'll get the correct spelling anyways, but that's about what's spelt, and again, you can actually use any of these in the uh, assignment operator. So you could say divided equals 3. So um, we'll actually change that to 2 so we don't get a weird number. And we get 5. We can say times equals and we can even say modulus equals which should give us 0. And the modulus sign, if you guys don't think that there's really a use for it. It's actually really good if you want to detect whether or not a number is even. So you could check and see if it's an odd number or an even number. You could also see if it's composite or if it's a uh, prime number very easily with uh, using some modulus operations. I think that's really it for now. Um, I guess I'll show you guys one more thing. If you try to do number times times you'll get an error because it can't do that. Um, also, if you divided divided, you'll get another error and modulus modulus will also give you an error. So it doesn't work for those. It really only works for plus plus and minus minus. So what I want you guys to do after you get done watching this is follow along with what I did and then experiment with it. See like what other things you can do. If there's uh, any difference in it, if you did like equals modulus or equals plus and stuff like that, what's your outcome? What kind of errors do you get if you delete certain things? And then try and figure out what those errors mean. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, press the like button. If you want to see future videos, click the subscribe button and favorite the video if you really want to help because that is just great for me the more favorites I get which I don't think anyone's ever favored a video it would like boost my ratings to YouTube so yeah go out and do that it's very good and uh, comment if you have any questions or comments about the video thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing you later